This is another video about polyurethane foam, also known as Great Stuff Foam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep the valves from stopping up using castor oil and mineral spirits. That way you can use the can several times, even if you wait a few months in between uses. Some parts of this video would be extremely boring at regular speeds, so when I go into time lapse, I'll put an indicator in the corner. Most volatile solvents will at least temporarily kill the foaming action of polyurethane foam. But most solvents won't permanently keep polyurethane from curing. To get an oil to mix with polyurethane requires a little stirring. Some oils mix with polyurethane foam better than others. But, most oils won't permanently keep polyurethane from curing. Castor oil will permanently keep polyurethane from curing. A small amount of castor oil will make polyurethane flexible. A lot of castor oil will prevent polyurethane from ever curing. This sample is a week old. This sample is six months old. This sample is a year old. To keep polyurethane from plugging the valve ports, I mix mineral spirits and castor oil. A mix of about 50% castor oil and 50% mineral spirits works pretty well. The mineral spirits kills the foaming action and thins the castor oil, so it can easily get beyond the small ports in the sides of the valve and mix with the polyurethane without stirring. Eventually, the solvent will evaporate, but the castor oil remains and keeps the polyurethane from curing. After using a can of polyurethane foam, Lay it on its side for about five minutes to let the excess foam expand out of the valve and into the applicator. Have your tools ready. Take the applicator off and immediately remove any excess foam from the nozzle with something like a pipe cleaner to allow room for the mixture. Immediately shake the castor oil and mineral spirits mixture and fill the nozzle with about 15 drops. That's usually enough to keep the valve from stopping up. Put a piece of paper towel under the cap to catch the mixture when shaking the can or in case it gets knocked over. Since the remaining castor oil in the valve can prevent polyurethane from curing, when you get ready to use the can again, shake the can well and discharge a few shots of foam to clear out the castor oil. Then put the applicator on and use the can as you normally would. I'll put some more details in the description section. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and most of all, please share this video. The next video will be about how to clean the applicators. Give this a shot and tell me what you think. Ask questions, leave comments, and suggestions. I'll summarize anything of importance and put it in the description section. If there's enough material there, I'll make a new video and tie it into the playlist. If you'd like to tip me or donate, there's a link in the description section. Thanks for watching.